Okay, as I was saying, even without any waterproofing at all, just bare LEDs, you can drop it in the water, it'll still operate because the power supply is completely isolated from the mains, meaning that there's no actual wire connection from this wire to your house wiring. It's completely separate, it's not connected. It's only connected through magnetic uh, coupling. <clears throat> So anyway, uh, nevertheless, just to keep the uh, LEDs from corroding and going bad, which they would in an hour or two without any uh, protection, it has triple waterproofing on the inside. The LEDs are waterproof to the heat sink. And then, of course, you have your encapsulant, which is clear in this case, and then wrapped around by the sealed box, which is siliconed with black uh, sealer all the way around that. So the idea being that uh, you want this to run for a long time, uh, no matter what happens, underwater, some water may come up here, drop some water on it, um, take it out, put it into the tank sometimes. Uh, it doesn't really matter, it should be just fine. One of the neat things about uh, floating surface scrubbers like this is the ability to feed your fish. Sometimes it gets so full of algae that you'll have a little bit growing on your light. So I like to just pick it off of here, maybe rub it with the fingernails and throw that to the fish, or maybe just drop that down and the fish will start eating it right off of the light they'll actually start associating the red light with being fed, so that's pretty neat. So anyway, that, um, that's the light, and uh, if you set the light down, like to get it out of your way, um, don't turn it upside down like this, because you want the heat sink to be in the air. So uh, just set it on something like this, or hold it, or put it, if you're gonna put it on your carpet, after it's clean, of course, um, just go ahead and uh, set it down. Keep the heat sink up so it can stay cool. Now when, you're, uh, when you are doing harvesting, what I like to do, it grows really heavy on the four corners by the lights. I like to pull some out and just throw it to the fish every couple hours. And it actually grows back in a couple hours. It's pretty fast once it's actually packed full. But if you're going to do a full harvest and uh, you need to throw it away to get it out of your system, out of the tank, you just reach in and uh, grab it like this and it's going to take about two full handfuls to get a completely packed scrubber clean. When you reach in, don't don't obviously pull the ribbons out, they're epoxied to the rock and we test these and pull on them and all that good stuff like this, okay? But uh, nevertheless, you just want to let your fingers slide through the ribbons like that, okay? And watch the texture because you don't want to hit your, knuck your knuckles, your fingers, up against this stuff. So you'll get used to this. You want to kind of feel that when you first get it to see how rough it really is. It's unbelievably rough and that of course is what allows an unbelievably strong attachment of the green hair algae. It's such a good attachment that when you reach in you can pull the entire scrubber out of the water and shake it like this and the algae will not let go. So you sometimes have to grab this and pull on it like that. It's almost like pulling roots out of the ground. So the, um, the air is connected to a strong air supply. You need to have about five liters per minute. You can have 10 liters per minute if you want. The uh, air pump that we sell has two outlets to match these two outlets. You can't really have too much air. All right. If you pump in huge amounts of air, uh, you'll see water come out of here, but uh, that's about, that's not gonna hurt the growth, that's just gonna be bothering you. So uh, the pump that we sell has an adjustment to put it to the level that you want. The floating level in the water should be right about the middle of the foam here, and that's gonna put it right about here. One interesting thing, because the growth gets so thick, it traps air bubbles in the growth and starts lifting the thing up. So although when you first put it in your water, it's gonna appear, if you go like this, and then you float it like that, and you kinda like looking inside, you'll see that the water seems to go too high. But once it starts filling up, that algae will start pulling it up like this, and the, the actual float level will probably drop down. So. It's designed to be variable based on how much uh, growth you have. And um, don't try to change anything until you've run it for quite a while, many months. You get a feel for how it floats when it's empty and when it's full. So um, as far as the rest goes, it's pretty simple here. Uh, really no maintenance required. Um, comes with the tubing with these little clips to keep, to keep the tubing together here and here. Uh, these little attachments here are designed that, so that if you do need to take it to the sink or remove it or get it out of your way, all you need to do is detach these with your thumb and then the whole thing can just come out of the water and it can get out of your way. So let's see, what else?
if you are setting this into your sink, let's say you do get dark growth, black growth, because you have extremely high nutrients, you take this to your sink and you want to use a toothbrush to clean it, that's fine the first couple of times to get the black growth, and I mean black like tar, black like this. You do want to get that out with a toothbrush because that's going to block light from hitting the rest of your attachment surfaces here. And you take it to the sink and set it into the sink. Just keep in mind you've got these air tubes down there and you don't want to squash them too much. Okay, So set it down, take a toothbrush, and then just clean the sides, clean all the black stuff off. You don't ever want black stuff on your attachments or your ribbons. So you'll just have to kind of go like this to get the black stuff off. And that black stuff, if you have had extremely high nutrients in your tank for years or decades, that means the black stuff is pulling the nutrients out of the water and it's going and attaching here. So by using a toothbrush into the sink, it's going to be pulling the nutrients out of the water. And eventually you'll, eventually you'll see that uh, the green will overtake the black. Okay. Even sometimes in the same unit, you'll have some black on the bottom and the green will overtake it and start filling it in. In that case, you can just maybe get a little bit of the black off and leave the green. So I think that's it enough for now. Just uh, leave the light on, put on a timer for 12 to 22 hours a week. And you can start around 18 hours is probably a good one. The instructions are right here on the label to help you out. And uh, you can always uh, get more units or different size units, including hog scrubbers, at santa-monica.cc. And uh, aside from that, I hope you have a good time filtering your aquarium.